everyone welcome back to our channel today we can discuss about timesheet module in odoo 15 odoo allows the user to record the time spent by an employee over a project timesheet is a method of tracking employee working time so utilizing this feature you can easily analyze the employee working report here the functionalities of the timesheet module is integrated with the project employees and other modules so we can move to the module So when you open the module, you will get the uh, grid view of all the recorded timesheet on this platform. So here it shows the various activities done by the user along with the recorded time. So you can select a particular week or month to get the details of the time spent on each company's operation. And to start uh, recording the time of a particular project or task, you can Click on the start button and here in the field you can describe the activity, project and the task. So here we can select the project and also the task. So the timer will record the time on the project and here you can click on the stop button. So it will be added here and to see all the records in a detailed way uh, you can click on the press icon and a new window will appear with the details. So here you can see the date, project, task, description and the hours spent on it. And if you want to add more details you can click on the create icon and here you can provide the details. Now let's move to all timesheet. The manager of the company have the access to the all timesheet recorded in the module. Here we can see the records of timesheet uh, of each employees along with their name uh, and the consent project or the task name. Now let's move on to the configuration. Here we have the time encoding timesheet control and the building options. So under the time encoding section, you can see the encoding unit. So it is to define the time used to record the timesheet. So here we can set the unit as uh, hours or days. And in the time rounding field, uh, you can specify the rounding up time in minimal duration, which will be applied on rounding when tracking the time. So here we can set the minimum uh, minimal duration and the roundup. And here we have the option to enable the awesome timesheet. It is to track your time from anywhere, even offline with a web or the mobile apps. And when it comes to the timesheet control, you can see the employee reminder. So it helps the user to send a periodic reminder to users to record their timesheet. And similarly, you can activate the manager reminder option to send periodic email reminder to timesheet managers. So here you can set the frequency to send reminders on a particular number of days after the end of the week or month. Here in the billing section, uh, you can see the time billing option. So it helps to sell the service and invoice time spent by an employee on a particular work. So using this, you can configure your service product in auto. So you can click on the configure your service. So here in the product configuration window, you can set the invoicing policy. So here in the general information tab, we can see the invoicing policy. So here we can set uh, the service based on timesheet. So it helps that uh, helps to generate the invoice based on timesheet. And here we can set the invoicing policy as all recorded timesheet and approved timesheet only. Now let's move on to to validate menu. 
you know the manager of the company can validate the timesheet of employees based on week and month so here you can see the name and the assigned project details of the employee and also the different uh, difference between the number of hours recorded and the number of hours the employee was supposed to work so by clicking the validate button you can validate the timesheet so as in the same way you can uh, validate uh, according to month now let's move on to the reporting section of the timesheet module so here we can see the timesheet of uh, timesheet by employee by project by task by billing type and the timesheet of attendance so we can move to timesheet by employee here it shows the timesheet of each employee in the company and here you will get the total hours worked by an employee in a particular week or month here uh, the timesheet uh, based on project can be seen here when we comes to the timesheet by task here it help to generate a report based uh, on the number of hours worked on a specific task on a weekly or monthly basis so if you want to see the previous days uh, details you can click on the icon here now we can comes to the by billing type here it shows the uh, timesheet based on billing type here you can invoice your service product based on fixed price or timesheet and it also include the non billable task here we can choose the measures and also here we have the filters and group by options it is possible to view the window according to keyboard graph grid list and in the kanban view and it is also possible to insert the details in the spreadsheet now let's move on to the reporting section of timesheet or attendance here again uh, it can be used to analyze the timesheet uh, recorded in the system with the attendance so here we have the uh, graph view and pivot view so the pivot shows the number of hours uh, recorded in attendance and timesheet in each month along with the difference between them so here we can choose the measures like total attendance total difference total timesheet and also we can set the count here and here we can set the uh, choose the filter option and the group by option so the timesheet module in order 15 will record the exact time worked by an employee so this record is useful to generate invoices based on the worked hours to ensure accuracy so that's all about the video thank you for watching